Hi, you're with Chandeep at Goodly and let's take a look at how do we solve this problem where I have to repeat the row X number of time depending upon the number that we have. So I found a way to solve this problem using Power Query. The first thing that I'm going to do is uh, convert this into a table. In fact, uh, I think this has already been converted into a table. So let's just go take a look at the design tab. The design tab means that this is a table because we have table tools and this has been named as training data. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly hit data tab and then load this table from the table into Power Query screen. We are into Power Query screen. The next thing that I do is I need to unpivot this data. I need uh, every single row item for every single person in the training attended. So I'll pick up the first two columns, right click here and then say um, unpivot all the other columns. So all the other columns get unpivoted right here. Once I do that, um, although uh, every single person in the training comes into a single row, but hey, the problem is that uh, the person Claude attended Power BI training for two times. So her record should be repeated for Power BI two twice. So I should have Claude once here and then once again for Power BI one more time, right? But we, we don't need this. Actually, we would need this to kind of generate the values X number of times. So let's just see how can we do that. I'm going to go in the add columns and then add a custom column. Where is that? Right here, custom column. And the name doesn't matter. Let's just start to type a quick formula. So the formula is um, table dot repeat. And then uh, I'm just going to say table from name, uh, table dot from name, table from records. And I'm just going to insert the curly bracket and insert the square bracket and uh, insert a dummy column. So let's say column one equals to one, right? And then close the square bracket, close the curly bracket and uh, close the main bracket. Now, here's what I'm saying. I'm saying table dot repeat. And what is the table? Uh, table from records. And I've created a dummy column, which is column one equals to one. That means um, you'll have column one and the value in column one is going to be a single one. But how many times do we want to repeat this uh, dummy column? So we want to repeat this X number of times and that X is nothing but the value here. You can take a look if this is twice it's going to come twice. So I'm just going to say value right here. Close the bracket and let's see what does it give. It gives us a table, right? And uh, let's just take a look here. Uh, so I click on the table right here and it shows me that there is just one item here. When I take it, when I click over here, it has two items here. So when I expand this, this column, it's going to expand one and one twice, right? So let's just do that. Expand this, uh, load more, everything. Okay. Good. All right. Now take a look. Power BI has been repeated twice. Yeah, that's good. And just going to rename that. That's going to be the training. Um, only select these three, remove all the other columns. And I'm just going to say, hey, close and load the data. And we get 62 rows loaded. But how are we so sure that this is correct data? Because as of now, we have a small database. We can actually count the number of rows. But in case, if in case we have a large data, like a couple of dozens of programs here and a few thousand hundred employees here, then it's going to be a tricky task. So what we do is I'm just going to take a sum of the entire column. So let me just take a sum of this. This is two. And let's just see what we get right here. So just take a look the sum here is how much 62 right and we have uh, 62 rows loaded into our data so this is one plus one so that means two rows for this timothy let's just take a look quick check two rows for timothy right let's just take a look for claude so one two three four five and six rows for claude do we have six rows for claude one two three four five six absolutely correct six rows for claude and that's why we are sure that uh, how many rows that have been loaded by power query is correct now um, i'm giving the answer to the question that i asked uh, so let's just create a pivot table and finding out the unique programs taken by every single employee i'm just going to add this to the data model because that is where we get the distinct count and let's just keep the thing in the same worksheet so right here all right we have this now what i'm going to do is uh, i'm going to keep the name of the training uh, right here in the values right and uh, put the employee code right in the codes and right click here and go to uh, what was that value field settings and change that to distinct count right here distinct count and i'm going to say okay all right and we don't actually need the grand totals just turn that off all right 
uh, no that that's not correct so the training actually so the training goes here right click and uh, value field settings distinct count of the training actually and that's about it right that's correct so the this guy took two trainings uh, one for one three took four trainings and so on and so forth right just take a look Claude uh, took actually six programs but uh, four were unique and four is the answer right all right that's about it how would you repeat the row x number of times using power query if you have any questions hit me up post your questions on the youtube video under the comment section or in the blog and i'll be more than happy to answer them thank you so much for watching this and take care of yourselves bye bye